Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Today I've got a new tutorial for the Logic Pro X users. We're going to be talking about flex pitch and pitch correction within Logic Pro X. Get a lot of questions on the channel about this. So I figured we would just go over the functions of uh, pitch correction in Logic Pro X and uh, some really cool features with it. It's really flexible and it gives you a lot of control over. Uh, the pitch and the correction that you're doing there. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit of this uh, hook back for you. The song is by T Hood 985, C Lock, and Carter Carter. So I'm going to play back the hook real quick for you. Alright, so that gives you an idea of what we're dealing with. Now we're going to work with the main layer up here. So I'm going to mute our other layers. And then to access flex pitch, you're going to hit command F. Now we're going to be doing this uh, option here at the top flex pitch. Now there's some confusion with, you know, some people wanting the auto tune effect. That's not really what flex pitch does i mean it can do very extreme stuff and i'm going to show you that but if you're looking to just do the uh, auto tune effect you can go and select the pitch correction plugin for logic and this is what you'd be looking for for more of that specific auto tune sound but we're not going to be looking at that one today uh, with flex pitch this is more set up like a manual uh, pitch correction or something if you're familiar with Melodyne or Waves Tune it's a little bit more similar to that where we have control over each uh, note as referenced by uh, flex pitch so anyway once we have flex pitch open we're just going to zoom in here and you'll see that we have a graphic representation of the waveform and then down here is our references for the pitch of the vocal itself. Now, if you click on any of the pitch references and hold it, it will give you the tone or the pitch of that particular part of the vocal. So let's take a look at the different controls on the pitch references. So you're going to see these six dots on each of the blocks. Now, if you hover over them, it'll tell you what they are. So this one to the far left corner on top is pitch drift. This is fine pitch. Uh, pitch drift on the other side, the end of the pitch reference. Uh, formant shift on the lower right corner vibrato control, and then a gain control. All right, so let's talk about the six adjustment points on your pitch reference or pitch block in flex pitch. Uh, the first one is, would be your pitch drift control. So that's gonna be, again, in the top left and top right of your pitch reference. Now what the pitch drift is, is basically just how the note kind of flows in and out. Uh, of itself and into other notes. So for example, if we go over here, we've got a pretty heavy drift from down lower in the scale up to this first note. So it's like, oh, oh, it drifts up. So we could adjust the, uh, the front end tail of that pitch drift to make that less intense. So you will notice that since we moved it so much, it did introduce a little bit of uh, artifact there in the sound. Uh, generally, flex pitch is pretty good about uh, retaining the sound quality, but if you do some really intense stuff like that, you may hear some of that. You probably won't hear it in the context of the mix. But anyway, if you're doing something subtle, like for instance, on this note, we just want to scoot that up a little bit. Sounds fine. So um, it really just depends on how much you kind of push it. 
All right, so the second uh, control here would be your fine pitch, which is right on the top and in the middle. So let's go to maybe a note that's slightly uh, flat or sharp. Maybe uh, this one. So fine pitch does exactly what you would think. It's just a fine tuning. So we can slide it up to the exact note on the scale. Uh, or if we wanted it to be uh, slightly sharp or slightly flat, we can do that. Now, another thing that you can do is just select it and right click it and set to perfect pitch. Now, this doesn't mean that it's going to set it to perfect pitch necessarily in the scale. It just means that it's going to set it to the absolute uh, of the note. So it's just going to put it right there in the center. Now, you can also do this for all your notes. So you can just right click anywhere in the grid and set all to perfect pitch. And again, that's just going to center the notes into absolute values. So a lot of power there with the fine pitch stuff. Let's take a look at a couple of the other controls in flex pitch. If we go down here, we have our vibrato setting. So vibrato is just basically how much kind of wavering um, in the pitch we have. So if we reduce the vibrato, it's going to just make the note pretty consistent and steady. Versus if we have a lot of vibrato. So if you want to have kind of the more robotic sound, just set the vibrato and try to get rid of any drift that could be happening. And that's going to give you that really uh, flat kind of pitch with a little bit of the, the robotic auto-tune sort of effect. Now let's check out uh, the other controls. So if we go to our uh, formant shift, now this is an interesting control. It's going to change the formant of the vocal on uh, this particular part. So let's say we raise the formant or uh, reduce the formant. So it doesn't actually change the uh, pitch, it's the formant. So it's kind of like thinking about it in terms of a human uh, voice box. If someone has a bigger kind of voice box, the formant is going to be lower. They still might be singing uh, the same pitches, but it's going to sound lower because of that formant. Same thing, you know, for like a smaller female uh, vocal type, your formant would be higher, giving it that effect. So really cool with flex pitch that you can control the formant for each of your pitch reference types in the vocal. And finally, in the lower left corner, we have a handy gain control. So if you want to adjust the gain for any of the words and phrases or consonants in the uh, vocal performance, you can do that there. So now that we've taken a look at our six different uh, adjustments here with uh, flex pitch, let's go ahead and start using them in action on this performance. So some of this stuff I'm going to do is a little bit extreme. It's just for example purposes. I didn't do it in the actual mix, but hopefully it will uh, just kind of show you when these things are appropriate and when you can use them. So the first really useful thing about flex pitch would be to just fix, you know, a couple of flat or sharp notes here and there. So in this vocal, this second uh, little phrase, Ooh, I be one. It's pretty cool, but let's just say that we wanted it to be in pitch with the rest of that phrasing. Then we can just first go ahead and set it to perfect pitch or the absolute value there. And we'll just move it down to the rest of the phrase. So it gives us a, uh, a different effect. It just kind of keeps everything in check. Now, let's say that we wanted to reduce the uh, vibrato for this entire phrase. We'll just select that and we'll flatten the vibrato out. So again, we get some of the um, artifact from adjusting that really heavy drift on the first note. So let's undo that and then let's just uh, flatten the vibrato on these three notes. So it'll sound a little bit smoother. Ooh, I be one up on that bag. All right, so that's pretty cool. 
Now let's say uh, that last note, we want to flatten that out as we had it before. Ooh, I be one up on that bag. Now, if you want to get really crazy with it, we can start adjusting the pitch creatively uh, within the scale of the song. So, so it's a little extreme, but just to give you an example, and we could adjust the format of that note so that it doesn't sound so high pitched. That's a little. It's obviously a little low. So let's. We'll set this to perfect pitch. Now we're gonna adjust the vibrato of this. Ooh, I be one up on that bag. Ooh, I be one up on that bag. Ooh, I be one up on that bag. Ooh, I be one up on that. Ooh, I be one up on that bag. Ooh, I be one up on that bag. So. As you can hear, we just completely uh, changed the pitch phrasing of that. So it doesn't sound that great in the context of the mix, but again, just showing you what you can do in terms of changing the pitch around. Flex pitch is really powerful. You can do a ton of different things with it. As you've seen, we've got a lot of parameters here. It's really good for fine tuning and tweaking things, and you can get as extreme or as subtle as you want for just you know fixing a flat or a sharp note. They've definitely improved the uh, functionality of flex pitch since it was first introduced in Logic Pro X, so uh, check it out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you learn anything in this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.